State of Decay 2 Walking Dead mode. Hey, what's up guys, Irish Turtle here, and in today's video I want to talk about basically uh, a new mode for State of Decay 2 that I kind of came up with with a friend of mine uh, when we'll be discussing about trying to make the game a little bit harder. Now this discussion came about because we were saying that we found State of Decay a little bit too easy in certain aspects. Uh, once you've cleared out most of the plague hearts, you know, once you're dealing with all the zombies, just generally speaking, the game's quite easy. It's not difficult to try and deal with the plague hearts. And we basically decided that we wanted to try and make the game as difficult as possible within the bounds of what is possible currently in the unmodded version of State of Decay 2. So essentially, we came up with the Walking Dead mode, which is pretty much like an homage to The Walking Dead in itself. So basically, for those of you guys that maybe have never watched The Walking Dead, uh, in that TV series, comic book, um, you know, that sort of area, whenever someone is, is scratched or bitten or attacked by a zombie, they turn into a zombie themselves. They get infected, they die, and then they turn. And basically, we decided that we wanted to try and replicate that experience in State of Decay 2. Now, the best way that we found to do this was basically to take the Blood Plague uh, that's already implemented into the game and try and basically ramp it up to 11 so that whenever you're dealing with plague zombies they're becoming a much more of a threat to you and you feel much more concerned about having to deal with them. Now the Walking Dead mode in itself is not an official mode, it is just something you'd have to agree to play with uh, by your own set of rules and you have to make sure that you would follow the rules if you were to play it. Basically the mode works like this, whenever you're playing and you come against blood zombies, basically you have to fight them. If at any point you contract blood plague and to the point where it's infecting you and you've got the time limit, that character is then completely unresable. Basically what you have to do is put that character down, euthanize them, remove them from your community. They cannot be revived because basically you're playing the walking dead mode so there is no cure, they just have to turn into a zombie. They have to be killed because that's the only way to save them uh, from their fate of becoming you know, this flesh eating zombie. Now, you can also play this uh, as um, Walking Dead Man mode, which is something we came up with as well, which is basically where you make the game even harder for yourself, and you say, right, if at any point I contract Blood Plague to any level, even if it's the tiniest amount, that's it, this character has to die. And basically then you can choose, oh, do, you know, do I let them contract Blood Plague and have them euthanized, or do I just walk them into a group of zombies and have them killed? Either is sort of up to you with regards to that. But the idea is, again, is to make the game more difficult. So when you see a group of Blood Zombies, Blood Plague Zombies rather, you actually have to think, right, you know, can I go and deal with this? Have I got the equipment to deal with this? You know, am I going to be able to face these zombies and actually survive um, based on, you know, what's happening, what I've got on me? You know, if they scratch me, that's it, this character's dead, so I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. Now, as I said, it is a mode that you would have to implement yourself. There isn't anything that State of Decay 2's uh, developers at Undead Labs have done specifically to implement this mode. Maybe in a later DLC they might add it in if they hear enough people saying, you know, we want something a little bit harder. They may implement it in, maybe in a, in a sort of like a medium way where Blood Plague is infect infects you much faster, um, but there's no cure for it. You know, maybe they'll do something like that. But as I said, for now, you basically have to implement the mode yourself. You have to play by the rules yourself. So if you cheat, you know, if you get infected and go, oh, I'll just cure it. The only person you're really cheating is yourself. Um, but let me know what you guys think of this mode in the comments below. Do you think it'd be something cool and interesting for the Undead Labs team to add in? Or do you think, you know, it might be a little bit too difficult uh, to deal with when it comes to playing the game? Like I said, let me know your thoughts. It's an interesting idea that I had. Uh, and personally, I'd love to see it in the game as like a really, like, just like as a, maybe put it in as like an Iron Man mode, uh, which is basically, you know, like you're, you're super strong, you want to try and face the game with this extra level of difficulty. Like I said, it's something that I'm currently doing myself just personally as an enforced rule. Um, but like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you guys think to the Walking Dead mode? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a bad idea? Or do you have a completely different way that you would implement this sort of thing into the game? Let me know your thoughts in the comment below. Uh, beyond that though, I hope you guys have enjoyed this short little video. I just thought it'd be for those of you that maybe want to try and make the game a little bit difficult for yourselves, as I know a few people have been complaining it's a little bit too easy. But other than that guys, thanks for watching, subscribe for more State of Decay 2 content coming soon, and I'll see you in the next one.